വെൽക്കം സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ ജി ജയന്തി അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് എക്കണോമിക്സ് പി എസ് ജി കോളേജ് ഓഫ് ആർട്സ് ആൻഡ് സയൻസ് കോയമ്പത്തൂർ നൗ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു എക്സ്പ്ലൈൻ വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് എക്കണോമെട്രിക് കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഡി ഡബ്ല്യു ടെസ്റ്റ് ദി എക്സ്പാൻഷൻ ഓഫ് ഡി ഡബ്ല്യു ടെസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ദർബിൻ വാട്സൺ ടെസ്റ്റ് this test is helpful to measure the auto correlation problem and it can be applicable only for time series analysis to test the auto correlation we have other tests like box q test cograin rq t- procedure test etc etc but compared to all these tests the best test to test the auto correlation problem is turbin watson test and it is simple to apply also always the value of dw test lies between 0 to 4 suppose the answer of dw test or the value of your dw test is lies between 0 to 2 means there is a positive auto correlation when the value is lies between 2 to 4 means there is a negative auto correlation when the value is 2 means there is no any auto correlation problem in our time series data based on these turbin watson value easily we can say whether that particular time series data have auto correlation problem or not this is the formula for turbin watson test and this is denoted by d d is equal to summation error time minus error t minus 1 the whole squared divided by error t the whole squared this is the table value of turbin watson test i already explained the values of turbin watson test this shows the same i can explain the turbin watson test with the help of this example the following table includes annual sales of personal computers and advertisement expenditure over 1985 to 2004 the variables are measured in arbitrary unit fit the model of the type y is beta not plus beta 1 x plus u test for auto correlation apply 5% level of significant and use that bin watson t- statistics here i have taken two variable one is dependent variable and the another one is independent variable here the dependent variable is annual sales give the name y and your independent variable annual advertisement expenditure and they give the name x and i have taken 20 years data the data is started in the year 1985 to 2004 first run your regression analysis once you run the regression analysis you can get the same result and your r squared for the above table is 0.999 with the help of this regression re- analysis we can apply our darwin watson test here the first column shows the y cap y cap is equal to beta not plus beta 1 x we can get the beta not value and our beta 1 value from our regression result so you just multiply beta 1 into x x is nothing but your advertisement multiply x in uh, x and beta 1 and add beta not value means we can get the first column values and your second column shows et et is equal to y minus y cap and your y is nothing but your annual sales you just deduct the y cap y cap answer from the y means easily you can get your et for the second column and your third column shows et squared et squared it is nothing but you just squared the second column just square et means you can get the third column value et the whole squared and the fourth column is et minus 1 for this column you just 
leave the blank in the first column and the second one you just take it out from your second column first value and you put it in your second row means you can get your et minus one for the remaining all rows you can uh, take it from your et and the fourth column is et minus et minus one you just detect et minus et minus one means you can get the whole value for the fifth column and the sixth column value you just minus et minus et minus 1 and the whole square means you can get the last column values and finally we just do the summation for et squared and et minus et minus 1 the whole square means you can get this answer like summation et squared is equal to 7587.87 and you are et minus et minus 1 the whole squared answer is 8195.28 you just apply these two values in your darbin watson formula means you can get the answer like 1.08 i already explained values of darbin watson test when the values is 0 to 2 means i said there is a positive autocorrelation so in our example also our darbin watson value is 1.08 so in our time series analysis also we have the problem of autocorrelation and it is positive autocorrelation thank you all